How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. We are at the very end of the City of Madrid World 6, and there is Dr. Leo. Hello. Are you Philip? Please see to Dr. Leo. I will. Hello, Dr. Leo. You are Philip. Birds uh, from Greenwood told me of you. The stones you have collected are keys to open the gate to the world of evil. They are the origins of power for machines that beckon evil. King Magrid holds the last stone. We have to free him to get the last stone. <laughs> the translation here is its such a weird translation. Go then to the world of evil and defeat Death Toll. Okay. Doctor, we can finally start our ship. Yay. Oh, no. Well, who's who's doing that? Doc. thats Is that his name? Okay. Oh, no. It's the queen. You are Queen Magrid. That... Oh, I'm actually, the first time I played this, this was actually quite the shock. <laughs> you destroyed the world. Didn't you realize? Shut up, you wimp. <laughs> Defeat him. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, the guy took three spears. That's pretty good. You took everything away from me. I don't even know who you are. Uh, you are dirtier than evil. Oh, Leo, your language, please. Dr. Leo, you talk too much. Life is never easy. Look. Hey, keep walking. Oh no, they got Lisa! Daddy! Daddy, I knew I would see you, but not like this. Dr. Leo, you will still do what I say? You, as you said, I made a machine to call Death Toll. Lisa has nothing to... Remember in the beginning of the series I said the, the translation is not that bad? I take it back. This is terrible. Lisa has nothing to do with this. Shut up. Dr. Leo, you still have to work for us. Alright. I cannot sacrifice people's lives anymore. Please, release Lisa. She is the most precious thing in this world. Even if I could not see her, she would still be my motivation. I can endure anything by just imagining her face. You are an honest man. Alright, Dr. Leo, leave Lisa alone. Yay, everything's all fine now. Leo whispered in Philip's ears, Philip, stay behind me. And you can actually just leave, but no, of course we're not. Here, take this and get on the airship. Please take care of Lisa. And this must be the ballsiest thing I've ever seen in an early Super Nintendo RPG. I will not run away, just take me wherever you want. Lisa, please forgive me. And just... Wow. Suicide bombs and takes them all out. And they're all gone, the queen is dead. Like, jeez. Philip, I think I was born in the wrong generation. Scientists are supposed to invent machines in order to make people happy. But an unexpected scientist may ruin the culture. Some people believe happiness comes quickly. I think it comes with patience. Lisa, I am sorry for leaving you. I am not passing away, rather, I am going to sleep. When a scientist with my knowledge is needed, I will be back. Lisa, be happy, but don't rush yourself. Yes, gradually. Lisa just keeps crying. And this is a little bit cold on on the main character's thing, where he's just like, uh, okay, bye. And then you just have the um, the key to the airship, and you can just go to fight the boss. Philip plugged in the starting key, and I actually want to go right back into my menu uh, and get back the power bracelet. This is kind of a, an interesting boss. Uh, you'll be pushed back a lot because of the wind, uh, and some people think this is a really hard boss. It can be. It can be extremely difficult. But hopefully, if we're if we're good, we'll be all right. Come here. I want to go down here a little bit. Okay. Avoid. Okay. Come on down. Good. Good. And go up. You want him on like a bit of a a better um, horizontal area. Okay. Is this good? Uh, getting there. Okay. Just hold out my sword. No, he's too way too. He's way too high now. That's better. That's better. Come on. Take some hits. That's okay. Oh, that was just a ridiculous amount of damage. Ooh, do it again. All right. Yeah, just just tank it a little bit. You can get so much. And one more hit, and he's dead. Come here. Dead. Yeah, you just pretty much have to tank him. It's crazy how easy he, how easy is that way. Anyways, that is it for World Six. We've done it. Huzzah! And there he is. Philip released King Magrid. He has his own little sprite with his mustache. 
I knew what was happening. I could do nothing to prevent the queen from passing away. Well, I mean, maybe you shouldn't have done the whole death toll thing? Maybe that would have helped? But with that, we can equip... I don't know if we have to actually equip this again, but I'm just going to, just in case, the uh, airship key. Plug it right back in. And we'll take the airship for a landing. Philip drove the airship back to the dock. So it's kind of weird how, like, Dr. Leo's dead, Lisa's crying, and you're just like, I'm not just going to go fight the boss, guys. Um, I'll be right back. You know? Because they're still there. Hello, thank you for staying with me while my father passed away. Oh, sure. I was here the whole time. <laughs> I didn't think I would see him again. But because of you, I was finally able to see him again. Ever since you saved me at Grass Valley, I imagined you fighting monsters whenever I closed my eyes. By the way, I would like you to answer my questions. Are you a real human being like me? I love how it actually gives you the option. It doesn't really matter what you choose, but I like that. Um, but like, I don't know, I'd like to think that if I was an angel, you know, sent literally from God to like wipe out evil, I wouldn't be lying, right? So no, I'll, I'll tell her, no, I'm not a human like her. I see. I feel like you are far away even though you are right in front of me. I feel like you are watching us from the sky. I don't know how to express the way I feel, but that is okay. I... I love... You are going to fight Death Toll, right? No, 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 go back! You love what? Blueberry jam? You gotta tell me something. I would say goodbye, but I know I'm going to cry. Please leave while my back is turned. <laughs> Lisa... Hey, you okay? I'm so mean. I would say goodbye, but I know I'm going to cry. Okay, there's there. Poor Leo. Oops, damn it, come on, Phil. That's, like, pretty crazy. That, that's the most plot you're going to get from this game until the very end. But, like, it's pretty good. You hear about Dr. Leo all this time for, like, for a while. And just to have him, like, die immediately. But, like, really heroically, it's pretty crazy. So, we want to head back because we obviously want to talk to King Magrid. But, not just that. Much more importantly. Actually, not more importantly. Down here. Whoops, I went all the way around for no reason. Where the queen was, we found the invulnerable bracelet where the queen was standing. Now, it's it call, they call it the invulnerable base, bracelet, but it's just the super bracelet. It's basically both the shield and power bracelet rolled into one. You want that equipped. I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to have the bell equipped too for infinite magic, but I've got 800 gems. So don't need, don't need that right away. I actually think the, the um, super bracelet is more of, of an important thing than the bell is. The bell really is only useful if you die a lot, and therefore you don't need gems. Uh, or you don't want to have to use gems because of that, I don't know. I failed as a king. You sure did, man. I ordered people to be loyal to me, and killed whomever, whomever would not follow me. Once you reach the top, the only way is down. I was just a coward. I made a promise with the evil king, Death Toll. Simply because I thought it would impress the queen. That's not why. You were greedy with money, dude. The queen was captured by her own desire and passed away. Let's all blame the girl. Like, <laughs> dude, you did this. Don't blame it on her. I must apologize to Dr. Leo. He's dead, thanks to you. I have the black stone with me. You must have all six of these now. Please go to the world of evil and defeat Death Toll. This is all I can do for Dr. Leo. Sorry, just taking a drink there. But yeah, now we have all the stones. The only thing we're missing is the red hot ball. Uh, which will give us the final magic. We're also obviously missing the final uh, sword and the final armor, all of which we get in the last level. So we are done, World 6. That is the last real world of the game. Uh, world 6 is pretty short. We're not beating the game today. Um, but it's just still not a very long area. But anyways, yeah, voice came from above. And we're going to move up. The last world. Ooh, they have like a cool red moon there. It's cool. Here we go. The six stones started to shine and were swallowed into the aurora. Can I see it? No. <laughs> Very cool. Fill up the gate to the world of evil finally opened. But you need the phoenix's help to defeat Death Toll. When the phoenix joins you, the Palace of Death Toll will appear in the World of Evil. Forgot about that. You do need to get all the Red Hot items, um, or else the actual last area of the game does not appear. Philip, try to find the three symbols. Okay, well, I've got two of them, and the last one is in here. 
But here it is, the world of evil. Great music. Looks really cool, too. It's basically space. Uh, it's very large, too. And we got eight, eight uh, layers here. And the monsters are really deadly. And they give you 2,700 experience. So, yeah. Um, you might be thinking, well, Phil, are we going to level up? Is this, is this what we're grinding levels? Nope. Actually, not yet. Believe it or not. Uh, but don't worry. Very soon. But use magic as much as you can here. Uh, it's really, really just easier sometimes to use your magic. So if you need to, just do it. I've got the magic bell if I do need to use it, so. Oh, the fire there. That's so neat. I do think it's kind of interesting that the, the world of evil isn't just straight up hell. Because, like, in these types of games, like, they're usually very cliche with that stuff. Where it's like, oh, yeah, it's all fire. I mean, there's fire here, too, sure. But, like... Let's make it hell. And like, I like how it's it's in space and it's in part of the Aurora. These five, uh, 3,000 experience, my goodness. Careful of these fireballs from the statues. Let's see what we can get. Found 200 gems, wow, okay. I guess I will not need that bell. It's such a shame. You work so hard for that bell and you just straight up do not need it. That's a shame, because it would have been a really good item. Oops, wrong way. What is you? I received medical. Okay, that's pretty cool too, I guess. Up and up and up and up. It's a it's a large map. Although, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to do. But yeah, a large map. Up and down, and very strong enemies, as you as you've been seeing. I hate the friggin' teleporty flies. like them at all. Damn you. Come here. Okay, much better. That gets rid of one of the statues. Okay, not bad now. There we go. The drop of gems like nuts, too. It's like they really don't... Like, ah, oh, they got the, the bell? Who cares? No one wants the bell. Bell's a silly item we put in this anyways. Another one of the statues, damn you. Right now I've got the power bracelet on, which is... Or the super bracelet. So, like, I can kind of go hog wild here. Like, I don't have to really care about my health all that much, because things are doing very little damage to me. And I'm doing a lot of damage back to them, so that's good. There we go. And what was over here? I just want to double check to make sure there's nothing. Oh, there's no re remaining layers, so... just want to double check, though. Okay, cool. All the way back. That treasure chest is important. As you can see, it's actually behind the... I can't get there. So instead of going to the next... Whoops, well, I just went to the next area. We're actually going to go back to the uh, Master's Shrine, I guess is what you call it. And you can get to that treasure chest from that blue teleporty thing. It's kind of weird the way they did it, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Walking through space. <laughs> Ignore me, everyone. There we go. And in here, it's going to be very nice. Come on. The Red Hot Ball. Weird name for a thing, but that means we can, whoops, go to the wrong place. Go back to World 4 and talk to the Gnome King. So if you had kept going, uh, like I had reached the second area of the World of Evil. There's only, like, I think only two areas, actually. Whoops. Uh, then you would have gotten to a dead end. And, well, obviously we don't want that. We want to find the last boss. The last boss will not appear unless you have the Phoenix magic. Hey, Kingy. I got all the things. You made it. Philip, I shall call the Phoenix. Little dancey do. Whoa, whoa, they're gonna be really dizzy. Philip received the magic of Phoenix. High above in the sky, a beautiful voice could be heard. I am the Phoenix. I live on the mountain of souls. I will help you revive the world and protect the peace. 
As soon as I was called, Death Toll moved into position. I don't know why he did, but yeah, this whole little castle, that would not be there. So you do need that. It'd just be a dead end. So hurrah! Now we are ready. Philip, return to the world of evil with the Phoenix. If you can equip Soul Blade and Soul Armor, the Phoenix will be able to help you. This is the final battle. The battle with Death Toll. Please come back alive. And we have the last magic, which is the magic of Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix will join Philip. Uh, and it's only two gems. Well, how powerful can that be if it only takes two gems? Uh, pretty good. But I'm fairly certain you need the Soul Blade and the Soul Armor in order to, um, in order to use it. So, not 100% sure on that, but pretty darn sure on it. We will make our way back. And we don't have a lot of time left. I don't want to go too long over time because the next episode will be the last episode. And yes, go down. We'll at least make it back to where we were. Head up. A lot of moving around. Space. I do like it. It looks really cool. And yeah, I'm pressing the button. Nothing's happening. So we're actually just going to go ahead and... Oh, whoops, not that. Get back our light arrow, because it is useful for now. Uh, until we get the soul blade and the soul armor, uh, we can't use the finis magic, so. Head up, head up, head up, head up, head up. Excuse me. And here we go, and there are a lot of monsters around here. But, man, that light magic. Light arrow works really well. And I'm not afraid of using my gems. Not afraid at all. There's no town, obviously, as you can see. It's just a couple monster layers. And then the end of the game. Anything over here as well? Jeez, okay, stuff's happening. And you. Oops. Almost dead. Come on, there we go. Pretty much just that. What's our next level, anyways? 42... 420,000. We need level 24 for the last, um the last uh, sword. And we're about to get that, so we're fine. Ooh, we got... S what, are, what are even those? Come here, you. Good, okay. Come here. Make this easier for me. Thank you. Alright, cool. Hit you. Okay, anything over here? Ah, I hate these guys so much. There we go. Come back. Oh, good, good. I think you can withstand a hit or two from them. Nice. Perfect. And that's what I want. That is what I want. Where am I going? Where are we going now? Okay, there we go. Take away. Ooh, careful. Ah, damn. This didn't take a lot of HP off of me. So you could keep going if you want to, and if you do... Uh, you will be in this area, which doesn't seem that like a big deal, but that stuff will kill you. You just see my life draining away. You cannot go any further without getting the soul armor, so just go and grab it. And I think that's what we'll call it a day. So, can I kill these things? No. No, you can't. All right, here we go. Receive the soul armor. Let's equip that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Armor enables you to walk in space in space, but it looks really nice. There we go. With that, we will call an end to today's episode. And next episode, we will destroy Death Toll. And uh, hooray! With that, I'm Phil Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.